Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Shifts. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the Shifts app within Microsoft Teams to organize your work week and allocate shifts to your staff. So first of all, I've created a new team called Trainers and I've added members to this team. And to get the app, you need to go to the ellipses at the bottom on the left hand side here and there you can see shifts so I'll click on that now if you're going to use this over and over again you can actually right click on that and pin it so it stays there all the time like these other ones now what you should see in the middle is all the teams that you own and I've just created trainers so you can create a a shift pattern for trainers so first of all it's got the time that is the time zone that is correct the location is not correct so you can change the location um, nearest time zone well it's correct for the UK so that'll do confirm that and then you should get I'm going to skip the tour you should get the shift app opened with your name, the owner, that's me, and an unnamed group, which you can change. So if I rename that to Excel Trainers, so this is all about training, save. So that's Excel Trainers, and I can create a new group, add group, and do the same thing on that one, call this Access trainers and so on and so on save so now you're creating um, different groups for your trainers and if you're doing the whole office package obviously you would have a big a bigger list down there now to add people to these groups you need to click on add people so if I click add people let's say Alana add and Dulcie add our excel trainers so add those two to the, the excel group and then add people to the access group so um, ashley add and gary add so these are the team members close so you've added added your staff to each of these groups so what you've got across the top is open shifts where you can create a shift that is not allocated and then you've got these roles per person and then you can allocate the shift if you create a shift on this role it will be for Alana and that one will for Dulcie now across the top you've got different timelines different views so at the moment we're on the week view if I change that to today that gives you the today view and then you've got the month view and back to the week view and you can print this schedule if you want and you can filter this by groups or by a member and so on and so on so what I'll do is I'll create a shift for today for Alana so if I double click on that you've got a shift Excel trainers and a color for it which is blue we'll just change that to green just so you can change that now the time frame is the default time frame and you can see you can um, set that to whatever we don't normally start at eight o'clock that's for certain so let's put this to nine o'clock and let's put that back to right I need to change that in settings I'll just leave that as it is so if you wanted this to be on call you can just select that that means this person's on call during that time period custom label if I type in Excel there, it comes up instead of the default option. So I'll get rid of that. And it's just got the time frame in. Um, if you want them to have a break, let's say they get a 30 minute break. And then you can add any shifts, um, any notes for the shift in this little box. So let's just say um, arrive 30 min before start start time 
for example. Coming down a little bit, you can actually add activities for each of these shifts. So I'll just click onto that. So prep, let's do a prep and give a, leave it as blue. So 15 minutes, probably 30 minutes prep. It's definitely paid. So that's um, where they're doing, um, setting all the laptops up and things. So test, and that'll be just 15 minutes. And deliver. And that will be quite a long time actually. So I'll just say, well, I could, you could do it for lunchtime. In fact, I will do it for lunchtime. Deliver. Add new lunch and things like that. 15 minutes, probably 30 minutes for lunch. And then same again, deliver and so on and so on. So you're just adding these tasks. You don't have to add these tasks. It's totally up to you. But that will be to four o'clock. And then they start packing up and sorting themselves out. So done. So there's the tasks for this. If I go back up. You can see it's all blue, so really I should have changed the color there for some of these. So I'll just edit them and do exactly that. So lunch, for example. In fact, let's just do blue. Test can be green. Deliver can be pink. And lunch can be gray. And then you see um, deliver needs to be pink. You can see that the, the bar across the top reflects those color schemes click on done and that's that go back up so you can see that across the top there so if i save that it now sits in there on alana's line now if you put a task on this top line open shift it means it's not being allocated to anybody so if i just open that one it's in the Excel training block. Um, leave it on green. So it's, nobody's add this. So you're going to get a 50, 30 minute unpaid break. So I'll just, I'm not going to add the activities. I'll just save this. So that sits up there. So now when you go to filter, for example, you can filter just Excel trainers and it gets rid of the access trainers underneath. If I go back and click on Alana just and take Excel trainers off just click on Alana you just see in Alana and the other task that's not been allocated yet but click on Ashley Ashley hasn't got any and they can just take these off and then everything comes back so different filters you can see there and then you've got view options you can look at team shifts your shifts different people different groups all of these are ticked and you can play around with these at your leisure now what you've got at the top here is a schedule option if i click on schedule this is this view you've got requests we click on requests let's say you want some time off so let's time off is to Friday, let's say you want Friday off, not parental leave, so just unpaid. Um, let's say it's a school visit, send request. Okay, so that's going to go to the manager, and the manager will say approve, and because it's you are the manager, you can just approve that. Now, if that was a member of staff, which I'll do in a second, you can set that up. So let's go into settings. Settings has got the timeline. Start of the week, let's say is Monday. Include shift activities, yep, okay. You can add extra categories down here for time off, add custom. This tracking option down the bottom there, it works with the phone app microsoft teams phone app and you need the location on the phone to be on but basically what you can do then is when people are off-site you can get them to log in on a task 
so they can actually log in and start a clock to say they're on site and um, you can then run a report based on start and finish times. Problem with that in my experience is people forget to log off. They're quite good at logging on or they log off um, when they've got home and then you can't really judge whether they left the place at the right time or not. So it's up to you whether you use that one or not, but you would have to make sure your team is IT literate, which obviously if these are IT trainers, they would be. So hopefully that would work. Now, if I, so that's me unpaid all day. Now, if I go to Alana and get the app, so do the same thing again, shifts, and I will right click on it, pin, and then, okay, got it. So we've now got Alana with, with shifts activated. And if I click on share with team, because at the minute this is just on my screen, I'll share this week. And share the entire team. I could just do it to an affected person. So I'll share that. Now if I go to the app where Alana signed on, I should see that coming up. Let's just go back, shifts. There we go. Just takes a little while for it to come through. Now you can see this one that's not been allocated. I could open that one and request that I have that one. So I've requested to do that shift on the Friday as well. Now, if I go back into this one and just click off this for a second and then back onto it, just to get it to refresh. And then if I go into requests, one person has requested a shift. So Alana's requested a shift. I'll approve that. So it's approved. Go back to the schedule. And that shift has come back down onto Alana's line. So basically, this is a superb tool for anything like what I'm doing here, trainers, but also if you're a care company, my son owns a care company, and it's like they are working on shifts all the time, trying to pick people in for shifts and everybody's always wanting extra shifts so the ability to have a shift up for grabs on the top is excellent you still have the manager to say yes or no to that particular shift but it's an excellent little tool and i recommend it to anybody who's watching this video but that's all i want to talk about in this little session so hopefully you've got a feel for microsoft shifts and you'll get to use it so thank you for your time i'll see you on the next one